I'm Shovel and welcome to my channel. Today, as you can tell by the title, I'm doing another meme product. Um, I love memes. I live for memes. And what I found was that there's a meme bible. It's so small, but it's so precious. Okay. So, I also ordered a bunch of side stuff. Because I have a bunch of just extra stuff you can order on the side. Like, uh, I got a side of avocado. <laughs> they sent me an avocado sticker. This is going on my wall right there. So anyway, I also ordered a, a fidget spinner on the side, which appears to just be a regular plain white fidget spinner. Let's see if it's, oh my god, this is the exact one I already have. Am I cool yet? But the main thing that I really was interested in seeing, I don't actually know what's inside at all, but it's the, me the Holy Meme Bible New Testament. It's by Dank Tank. Um, I think what it is is mostly a coloring book. <gasps> Dog, what do you want to the first page? I'm gonna go through it. We're gonna explore what the, the meme Bible is together. According to all known laws of aviation, there's no way that a bee should be able to fly. All right, I'm gonna read the opening page, which I think is written by the guy who, who made this. 2017 has truly been an iconic year. This is perfect, because we're ending the year soon. Many people would agree that this year has been turbulent and quite difficult for a majority of us. In light of recent tragedies and political mishaps for many of us, memes have been a highly effective coping mechanism. This is speaking directly to me right now. Internet memes unite us as a global community and give us a platform to make our voices heard through bizarre and unexplainable trends, videos, and images. I'm one of those. All of them. Although we come from differing backgrounds, memes allow for a culture that centers around commonalities rather than differences. As a hub for analytical meme research and product design, we at Dank Tank curate meme products with the highest degree of meme... memetics in mind. These are also the people who did the meme bath bomb, just so you're aware. There's also other meme products that I will be exploring from their website. So now we're to run to your heart's desire and fidget spin your way through all of your problems. We want to dedicate this book as a tribute to the most iconic internet sensations of 2017 and hope you will enjoy this book as much as we had fun making it. Okay. Oh... Oh... Oh my god, it really is, it's like a, an activity book, like a coloring book, <gasps> but of memes! This is genius. I don't, I don't want to like reveal everything in the book, because honestly you should definitely get one of these for yourself. We have connect the dots with the Spongebob, uh, connect the dots to avoid copyright issues. On this page you're supposed to trace your hand, and then somebody else's hand, and it says my hands look like this, so hers can look like this. So hold on, I'm gonna trace my hand really quick. And now I'm gonna go trace a certain someone else's hand. Link, you trace your handprint? Give me your paw. Put your paw on the book. So close. Hey. I'm just going to my dog. Now then, we have some Mad Libs in here that are from uh, Trump's tweets. So we're gonna fill it in before reading it and then see what we end up making. Um, organization name, I'm gonna put Tumblr. Adjective, fat. Another adjective, blue. Plural group of people, subscribers. Noun, dog. Another noun, frog. I'm the worst thing that's ever happened to Tumblr. <laughs> that's very true. Actually, not really. Go follow my Tumblr. I reblog animals and aesthetically pleasing photos of apartments. Our leaders are fat. Our politicians are blue. And the subscribers are much sharper, much more cunning. I don't know what that is, but we are definitely much smarter. An extremely credible source has called my office and told me that Barack Obama's dog is a frog. Does he have a dog? Oh my god, they've unscrambled the meme. <gasps> I love it. Shook. Spinner. Trump. Slay. Those are all the important ones of 2017. Oh my god, you can draw Rick from Rick and Morty as anything you want, because it's just his face. It's from the Pickle Rick episode. But I'm feeling an avocado right now. I wish I had crayons, because I can't color it in right now. I just have my one Sharpie, but I made him an avocado. I turned myself into an avocado, Morty. Don't talk to me or my son. Draw left shark's son. I'm doing that one. Tiny shark. No! <gasps> Aesthetic, aesthetic. I'm supposed to fill it in. I only have a sharpie. Okay, I'm gonna fill it in with different things. Just wait. Hold on. I'm. Oh god, I love aesthetic. I've been coloring for so long, I forgot it was here. I think I did pretty good. Aesthetic. That's my favorite word to say, ironically. But now I've started saying it unironically. This page just says color in John Cena. 
Are you sure about that? This page is a fidget spinner for you to cut out and then put on the end of like a pen or pencil. So I'm gonna cut this guy out real quick. I'm just gonna pop this guy through my marker. This is so cool. Okay, last thing I'm gonna do, every millennial's guide to why you can't afford a home. And then you have to put in your birth month and your first letter of your name. So my birth month is August, which is entitled. And the first letter of my name is S, which is blogging. Why I can't afford a home is entitled blogging. If you went on my Tumblr and saw all the images of fancy apartments, this actually makes a lot of sense. Here's that page if you want to do it for yourself. Well, that was the meme bible. There's still a lot more pages of stuff you can do in it. And if you're interested in getting one yourself, I actually ended up contacting the guy who made it after I bought one. And he gave me an affiliate code, which is linked down below. So go get yourself a meme bible. It is not family friendly. This is an adult coloring book. I'm gonna actually sit here and end up coloring it in. I'm gonna go buy crayons though, real quick. But that's it for today's video. Get yourself a Hello hoodie on my merch shop. They're so comfy. I've never felt anything softer. Leave a like if you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Now that's my president.